Today, I would like to talk about the FTL, the go to, the meta, the best ship for PvP. Well, not really. On YouTube, it seems that just flying that ship makes you a great PvPer, but a ship, no matter which one, doesn't automatically make you a good pilot. Lately, I came across a lot of commanders, most seemingly new players, flying that glorious FDL, and the results are often the same. I can only guess why they think that especially that ship is the PvP ship they need. Either YouTube or other friends or players told them so, and without any combat experience, they hop into Shin Des and think they're the king of PvP. In my opinion, the FTL next to the Cutter is one of the most overrated ships in that game, especially when it comes to PvP. It has barely space for optional Eternals, which forces you to choose between either hull or shields. If you decide for hull, you have to know that a lot of the smallest ships within this game outnumber you when it comes to hull strength. If you decide for shields, then you have to take into consideration that there are weapons who bypass them or even ignore them at all. It doesn't matter which one you choose, one is for sure, you will completely forget about module strength. Which is another problem once your shields drop or get bypassed. In my opinion, the FDL itself is a great ship for experienced commanders and just a frustration for new players, because you will get sent to the rebase screen a lot of times. I don't want to give any tips on how to play or approach the game, but experience, especially in Elite Dangerous, is the key to success. And there is no ship in the game which can guarantee you a win. It's all about experience. Anyway, catch you later. Catch you later.